You know, I, I'm really trying so hard not to spoil this game. Uh, even though I showed you a little bit in the beginning, but there's no spoilers. Just so everybody knows that you're not going to see any spoilers uh, on my channel for this game. Um, you know, someone asked me, uh, why don't you do like a direct capture? Well, here's the problem, man. If I do a direct capture, then I cannot pinpoint HDR as I can pinpoint it here. I, I can tell you the effect of HDR because the peak brightness here on the TV, you can see it. On uh, capture, <coughs> you cannot see that peak brightness. <coughs> Excuse me, man. What the hell is wrong with my throat? I have uh, some downscaling in my throat. Jesus. Uh, but the HDR, look, at the moment, as of this moment, as of this date, March 1st, or what is it, March 2nd, I'm sorry, March 2nd, I would say that this is the best looking, at the moment, HDR game on any platform. Yes, this game even blows Forza Horizon 3 out of the water. Yes, this game even blows Uncharted 4 <clears throat> out of the water. And I don't say that lightly. I'm just telling you guys, this game blows everything else out there as far as the graphics and HDR and checkerboard resolution. Okay, let's walk around here a little bit. I just want to show you just a little bit, a little bit more. Let's just walk around. I'm not using a tripod because I want to, because I want to be like free movement on my camera. Like I want the camera to be free flow so that way I can adjust it any which way I want. Look at the hair works, man. The hair works. Uh, by the way, guys, if you have Samsung KS eight thousand and you have a uh, PlayStation four PlayStation four Pro, make sure that you use my calibration. Please do. That this is the calibration that you are seeing right now that I'm using look at the Asia right here man look at that and look at that that smoke coming out of that uh, chimney But remember, guys, you cannot see HDR through this camera lens. But what you can see is the peak brightness. Peak brightness that the HDR is producing here. It means you cannot see the vivid colors, but you can see the peak brightness that's beaming up into a camera. Well, let me give you just one example of HDR. What you don't see right now is you don't see the sun that's blasting into her face. But as soon as I move, as soon as I move this character, Eloy, her name is Eloy. Look what happens. Look at that peak brightness and it's now. It's going to blind the camera. Look at this. That's HDR of peak brightness and it's 1000 peak brightness and it's that's what it that's what mean that's how they measure the HDR peak brightness it's by by that nits means how bright it is now you don't see it now you see it um look guys all of these things you can learn read the book books uh study and you can learn about resolutions about checkerboarding rendering different codes for different resolution color bits all of this stuff it's available for you to research and learn I did 
I mean, what's going to stop you? Nothing, right? You just go to a library, you pick up a book, and you learn. You know, you want to learn how carburetor mixtures works on the old cars. You know, there's a way for you to learn that, too. You can learn anything you want to learn. It just depends on you. Do you have the passion to learn it? And that's another you need to think about this game. This game, it's about the learning also. It's about evolving, growing, belonging. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but it has a really good heart story to it. Man. So anyway, um, as I have mentioned before, this is one of the best looking HDR games. And the reason I, I use this level is because there's so much sunset sunset here there's so much hdr here guys look at the hdr even here when when that hold on with that light even that light it's it's uh it's overshadowing her and reflecting it's reflecting and overshadowing her and look at the peak brightness here man it's like ridiculous This is like in real life, man. This is volumetric light in HDR. It's acting naturally. And that is great, man. Alright, guys. So, <clears throat> this is just a short video I wanted to show you. Pinpoint. Uh the major role that HDR plays in this game but in order for you to truly experience this game okay th there's many different factors that has to take place guys number one what type of TV do you have do you want to enjoy HDR okay if you truly want to enjoy HDR then this TV Samsung KS8000 is the perfect TV for the HDR because it has that high peak brightness nits and has that full spectrum of wide colored gamut and it's a 10 bit panel okay so you gotta have a proper tv you gotta have a playstation 4 pro and then you have to find that balance of calibration to make this game look good to make the hdr look good you know it, it, this is why i do this guys you know i mean it's not easy man <clears throat> this stuff is not easy it took me about two days just to find a, 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 a good balanced calibration. You know? That's why I do this channel. Alright guys, have a good one though. I'll show you some more stuff here. To tomorrow and the next day. Uh, I want to show you a couple of levels. And, and to see how this calibration acts. When it's night and day and rain and snow and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll check it out. Thank you for watching.